What's up NZers? Hi! And welcome back to yet another family reaction video. This time we're going to be checking out another American sport and it looks like some motorsport this time. It looks like nothing I've ever heard of in my life before. Yeah, so it's like NHRA, what is NHRA drag racing top fuel and funny car? Yeah. No idea. So anyway, let's check it out. I think this is kind of more along in the series of like when we checked out the Isle of Man TT. Oh. Yeah. So I think that like that was like the fastest motorcycle race. I think that these might be like the fastest drag races. Cool. So yeah. You guys know what a drag race is, eh? Yeah. yeah. So we actually don't even know what NHRA stands for. I don't know. Maybe we might find out we in this might video. Find out. But yeah, what is NHRA drag racing? Anyway, let's check it out. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be incredibly adrenaline fueled. Yeah. I'm ready. Exciting. So let's check it out. Whoa. The tires are massive. Oh, look at the engine. Oh. Is it those? What the heck? I've never seen them in action before. Like, are they go karts? They completely tear the engine <laughs> they go -karts. apart. They go In about 30 minutes. Are they like spaceships? 15 gallons of fuel on a single run, which is only about 3.7 seconds. It's the uh, best accelerating vehicle on land, and uh, they're badass. These are 10, 12,000 horsepower cars. When we launch, it's about 5 Gs. Uh, when we hit our parachutes down at the top end, it's negative Gs. People in the stands think, oh, you're just Whoa. going straight. If you're standing back of these cars, it's not just going straight. It's driving all over the place, and it's a struggle. They're beasts. Wow. What a ride. Far out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Did you see that? It's like a rocket. It was like this. Yeah, it started swerving. But it just it got so small so quickly. NHRA stands for National Hot Rod Association. There's oh, there we a go. a number of different categories. In the funny car category, we go 0 to 1,000 feet in under 4 seconds at over 330 miles an hour. Oh my side goodness. Side by side racing, 330 miles per hour, 10,000 horsepower, less than 4 seconds. Wow. Um, it's, there's nothing like it. So that's top fuel. The difference between a funny car and top fuel wow. is... That's a funny car. We're heavier. We carry up. We have to move more air. It does look pretty funny. Just because of the body that goes over the car. Drive line, engine components are basically the same thing. It's the application's a little bit different. Actually, I've driven, I've had the opportunity to drive both a top hill car and a funny car. I got licensed in a funny car last season, and they are, I'll tell you, two different animals. I mean, in a funny car, the wheelbase is so much shorter, so you're steering the thing like no other all the way down the racetrack just to keep it straight in the groove, whereas in a top field drag street, you don't have to do that as much. Also, with a funny car, the engine is right in front of you, so when it blows up, that explodes Whoa. into your lap, which is why I like a top field car. It happens behind me, and I don't know how bad it is until oh. the end of the run. Does it do that every so race? Top field was always no. the key uh. of the sport, and I, I remember that since I was a little kid, um, just because they are faster, they're quicker, and that's why I love driving them. The biggest difference is the ET. Um, oh, that would freak you out so much. Feet, our, it would um, make me like lose control and probably hit the side and like go into the end a little bit quicker in probably. the top fuel cars versus the funny cars. Um, but I think we've got them on speed still. So. At least the engine's behind you now. Uh, we use yeah. nitromethane, which it's one of the only race cars that uses it on the planet. If you stand behind the thing while it's running, the fumes will make you cry, it'll make you cough, choke. It's uh, really incredible what, the, what these things do. Ooh. To explain nitromethane, it is a little bit difficult. It's the fuel we burn. It's a very controlled fuel. It's a very dangerous fuel. That's so why it makes a lot of power. Um, it's controlled by Homeland Security. Senses, when these cars warm up in the pits, fans love getting the, the sensory of it and uh, <laughs> the breeze. It makes your eyes tear, your nose start flowing juices, and Whoa. you can't hardly see. It's just unreal. <laughs> if you get too much of it, you won't be able to breathe. Yeah, we put on gas masks to uh, make sure we can breathe and see. Uh, it, it basically takes your breath away and makes your eyes water. So uh, to be able to see everything that we're doing in the warm up and make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, goodness, massive engine. How do you see over it? This whole sport is blowing my mind. I know. Wow, it 
kitchen for the little cat. When the cars come back after a run, they go into the bed. First thing we do is disassemble the car. It's disassembled within three minutes. Wow. Supercharge manifold, cylinder heads, pistons, Oof. clutch, drive line. That's all done within the first three minutes of coming back to the pit. Basically, we go over every part. Uh, we disassemble the engine, go through the short block, look at all the rod bearings, all the main bearings. Supercharger gets going through. Basically, the rotors come out, strips, put back in. Uh, the heads get taken off, service, all the seats and everything looked at. Clutch comes out, new clutch pack goes in. It depends on the crew how long uh, they've been together and how well they gel, but uh, the good guys, they can do it in 30 minutes. We're pulling the wires to start. Wow. Rebuilding the car in 30 minutes. And, and I thought the Formula One teams were impressive. Minutes after it comes back in the pit, after a full service, tear the engine completely apart, clutches out, rebuild it, put new parts on, start it up in 30 minutes. You know, wow. it's, it's crazy. They work extremely hard. They're covered in dirt, grease, head to toe, oil. I mean, they're, they're covered. Um, in between every single round, and they put their blood, sweat, and tears um, in this race car. And we go out there, and there's a lot of pressure, I think, on all of us. There's a lot of pressure on me, because I have four seconds to, to do the best job that I can to keep this car straight in the center of that groove, um, to have a great reaction time, and to make the run worth it, um, and worth all the work that they put in She's it. brave. It's a whole team to make that car go down the racetrack, and I always give it up to them. The driver always gets the credit, but it takes everybody involved and you know they're the reason that we won races and um won a championship last year so Whoa. i give it all up to them i can't be running this car i can't be driving this car without my crew guys and without my crew chiefs it doesn't run without them you know i literally trust these guys with my life whether it's mechanics or the driver i'm not sure how would, you would split that probably 50 50. i don't know it's it's hard to say wow that was unreal Oh wait, we're still going. Courtney Force getting her first win. Another force in the winner circle and mom and dad are happy as well they should be. I grew up around the sport. Ever since I was a kid, I was out here uh, watching my dad compete in the funny car category. Uh, he won a lot of races, broke a lot of records, um, you know, won multiple championships. <laughs> I really am looking at like the funny cars or the dragsters, that's what I got my eye on, but we'll see. And now I get to be out here competing against him. I mean, that was the, the dream of mine yeah, since wow. I was a kid. I told him, you know, I wanted to grow up and be a, a funny car driver just like him and told him he couldn't retire until I could come out here and compete against him. I used to come out to the racetrack as a kid with my sisters just to watch my dad. That's how we'd hang out with dad. He'd pack Another up and one. go on the road and uh, we'd follow him to racetracks. And these racetracks kind of became second homes to us. Everyone out here, teams, crew guys, crew chiefs kind of became family to us. So I fell in love with the sport at a young age. I think my dad was a little surprised that um, any of his kids had an interest in, in the sport. Um, <laughs> but I think he was happy about it. He always said he wanted boys. He ended up with four daughters, and three of us <laughs> ended up um, driving professionally. So I think we surprised Whoa. a little bit, but we're a very technical family. I get to compete against my dad in the funny car category. Uh, my sister Brittany, she uh, just actually won the Top Field Championship last season. If you would have asked me 15 years ago if I'd be driving a Top Field car, there's no way I'd absolutely Maybe that's your sister. Oh, that's your sister. I, I used to think Top Field drivers, funny car drivers were insane, so it surprises me that I ended up driving one. We just have fun with it. We get to travel and see a lot of cool Oh, what a cool family. We get to work together as a family, which is the most important thing. The daughter become the 2017 Top Field Wow. Whoa, it gives me like goosebumps when I see them take off like that. Like a rocket. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. That is so cool. Wow. That was crazy. What a sport. I cannot believe that they're going that fast. Do you know one thing that I picked up is that you have to have a license to drive a special license? Oh, it yeah. Sounds like? Absolutely. To drive those cars? Yeah, I don't think they would just let any like average Joe into those things. Well, just not like a normal license carrier to. You must have to do like full training and everything. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to prove yourself. What's well, it looks like a dangerous sport. Absolutely. Yeah. Far out. That was cool how it was all one family that followed a family. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. I, I can't imagine the force that their body would be under. Yeah. Going that fast. So but, it must be hugely different then to a Formula One car. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot shorter. Yeah. But it's yeah. In the description, it said that they're f they're the fastest accelerating vehicles on the planet. What about the Isle of Man? Wow. 
Yeah, I don't must know. be it's, faster. I think that they. I don't think the Isle of Man motorbikes could do that to do the drag race in yeah, four seconds. Yeah, that's like rocket status. Yeah, yeah. and they're three hundred and thirty miles per hour. Wow. Because it's not just like working yourself up. It's just it's straight away. You've just got to go boom. Yeah. It's not like a car where you work yourself yeah. up to go yeah. that fast. Yeah. It's just. It's like a yeah. spaceship taking And up. then the parachutes. I know. <laughs> I've seen a video and one where um one has a um like a jet. On the uh, back of it, yeah, like yeah. a jet engine. Oh, oh wow! A real jet. Really? Yeah. Oh, on we the need. Back we, of it. Yeah, we need to check that out, eh? Yeah. Also, we need to check out NASCAR as well. Yeah. We that's do. another one. We just need to try and find a video that won't get blocked. Yeah. Because that's uh, yeah. That's what happened last time we checked it out. So yeah. link yeah. any good videos for that if you've got any. Yeah. Or um, any more cool sports that you crazy guys do over there. Yeah. Well, we also we love the deadliest motorcycle race. Yeah, that was cool. We love this one now. Yeah. So we need we need to check out some more like motorsports. What else yeah. have you got up your sleeve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys that's it for this one thank you for sticking around to the end if you like this one make sure you smash the like button yeah comment down below let us know another motorsport we should check out another crazy thing that we haven't seen before yeah and follow us on instagram go and check us out there give us a follow yeah. and also subscribe if you haven't already we love you guys and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.